Mojo, Ani. Hello everyone. Today we will be making black bean burritos in our crock pot. For this recipe you will need one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, two cups of vegetable broth, one package of taco seasoning, two cans of black beans, one cup or can of whole kernel corn, a quarter cup of salsa, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of salt, one cup of brown rice. Long grain rice works the best. Uh, minute rice can get mushy when it soaks for too long. And of course, tortillas. So grab your crock pots and let's get started. My mom always told me to spray the inside of my crock pot with cooking spray before adding any of the ingredients. This little secret of hers helps with the cleanup. Now, let's get started with our diced tomatoes. Next, we'll add our quarter cup of salsa. Sprinkle in your full package of taco seasoning. Then we'll add in our corn. If you're using canned corn, make sure you drain and rinse it before pouring it in. Now we'll add in two cups of vegetable broth. one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cumin. Cumin isn't a flavor our house enjoys, so I'm not actually going to add it in, but this is where you would. And then we'll add in one cup of long grain rice. The only thing missing is our beans. Please be sure to give them a good rinse. Once that's finished, We'll add the beans in with everything else. Now that we've got everything in the crock pot all together, the last thing we're going to do is give everything a good stir just to make sure we've got it all evenly dispersed. Once you've got everything mixed in well, it's time to cover it and select your temperature. I am getting a little bit of a late start today, so I'm just going to set it to high, which means dinner should be ready in about four hours. If you've got time to spare, you can set it to low for six to eight hours. When you're ready to eat, lay out your tortilla and put about one third to one half of a cup through the center of the tortilla. The secret to eating a burrito without getting it all over you is to fold each end about one to one and a half inches over the edge of the beans and then roll up the tortilla along the long edge. And 
voila. There you have your black bean burrito. Feel free to serve with more salsa, sour cream, and or guacamole. Now, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your black bean burritos. Until next time, Bama Pee!